Hello, my name's Tom, this is my friend Jack. About 18 months ago, Jack and I both worked for the BBC and then independently, but at the same time, we decided to leave our jobs and sell our souls to the corporate world. And actually, I quite enjoy my job, but I think one of the things we've both noticed is that things can be very different in the world of business now that we have clients and write reports and what else do we do? Time sheets. Time sheets, yes. And one of the things that the world of business is famous for is the commute. And we were wondering whether we could bring some of our BBC creativity to the 21st century world of work and see if we could brighten the commute up and make it fun, exciting, and most of all, unusual. So normally, of course, I'd be commuting from Highbury in North London, and you'd be in Hackney. Yep, East yeah, London. Yeah, near East London. Uh, we're not doing that today, because that would be boring. So today we're starting our commute from Luxembourg, where it is currently half past four in the morning, and raining. Hi. How's it going? Yeah, all right. I've got a small fashion crisis, but apart from that, I only have room in my business briefcase for a few, you know, clothes, laptop, business pens, that sort of thing. So I've had to wear my um, business shoes see, yeah. with these shorts. Not a normal combination, that. I just don't want anyone on the airline to question my business credentials. Yeah. Now, I think, yeah. If I can close my um, business briefcase, which I can't. Right, have a go at everything. Passport is in the passport section of the briefcase. Have you got a I have got a phone charger. Right, I think I'm off. I will. I will see you after my uh, important discussions. Yeah. There's a slight issue here in that my briefcase is too big. Hang on, if I just ditch the coat, the briefcase gets in the way. And that's something the business community really needs to think about. Do they actually have any toothpaste? Well, that's why it's... That's, that's no much. good, yeah. I mean, that's not going to get on the flight, is it? Again, I'm being slightly weighed down here by the business briefcase, which is preventing me from putting this travel size deodorant back on the shelf. It didn't quite work. I've just knocked over quite a few things. Because, <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> Christ. I think if we go through security now, they won't be able to pursue us. Okay. So let's, let's do, do that. that. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> I'm inclined to say that this briefcase has been more trouble than it's worth. I think you might be right. You just can't carry it anywhere. It's massive. It's so unwieldy. I think, you know, sometimes if you travel business class, some people say it's a bit hoity-toity, you know. It's very much kind of, look at that posho over there. But I will just say, people who take the piss out of people who travel business class have clearly never tried to navigate Stansted Airport with a business briefcase. Because it's simply not doable. <laughs> I've only heard stories of this, I've never witnessed it in my lifetime. But as we landed, some people clapped at the back of the plane. They did. You never thought you'd see the like. Still here we are, Luxembourg. For 12 hours. <laughs> right, we're off. Luxembourg is our oyster. we say about Luxembourg? First of all, a lot of English. More English than I was expecting, actually. 
I guess like French seems to be the main language, but there's a definite influence on Glay. The second thing is we've just been charged 50 euros for a taxi, <laughs> which took about 14 <laughs> minutes to get from the airport to the city centre. And we don't know whether we've been ripped off or whether everything is just ridiculously expensive. <laughs> the vibe I'm getting here is, you know when you go on holiday to Spain, one of those sort of resort islands, and you get all those outdoor restaurants with the white plastic chairs. And there's always a tiki bar of some description, usually with a real parrot, that sort of vibe. Imagine that, but in the Isle of Man and you've kind of got Luxembourg, to be honest. I kind of don't really know how to describe this. Maybe like when you see this on the video, you'll think, oh, that's an all right view. But like just to be here in person, yeah. it's just something else, isn't it? It's really, really pretty. This is amazing. Nice. Glad we came? Very glad, yeah. Yeah, yeah. me too. But this, of course, is not precisely why we're here. And it's what time is it now? Half nine. Half nine. nine. And what time are our alarms going off? Where? That's it. Six and a half hours. And we're about 15 minutes and 50 euros away from the hotel. <laughs> we should probably GTFO. Yeah, agreed. When... We left the airport to come here, we got a taxi. And that taxi cost how much money? 50 euros. 50 euros. Yeah. That sounds expensive for a taxi to be. Yeah. And we have now learned that to get a bus in Luxembourg, it costs what? It's free. It's free, it costs nothing. No euros and no cents. I just, I, who pays for the driver? <laughs> Morning. Um, it's what is it? About five to four Luxembourg time. But of course, Luxembourg is an hour ahead of the UK. We only got here yesterday, so it's actually kind of five to three. Is my alarm telling me it's five to three? Um, and we need to be at the airport in about 45 minutes, so I need to go and have a shower and get dressed and all the rest of those things. <laughs> This feels a bit unnecessary, doesn't it? You know, in your hotel room yeah did you have a like shower gel dispenser thing in the shower oh yeah was it called wash dry smash <laughs> it was yeah do you think they know what that means oh i think they definitely know what it means thank you thank you a lot that goes on in that hotel apparently luxembourg is famous for refrigerated chocolates artisan biscuits and mustard in unusual containers and speaking French although I'd actually argue that the French are more famous for that so I don't think we can put that down as a specifically Luxembourg thing so far we've attempted to improve the commute positives I would say the gift shop yeah you don't get that. Well, maybe you do get it at King's Cross Station, <laughs> but nobody ever visits it. No. Negatives. We have been up for an hour and 30 minutes-ish. Yeah. And we won't be in work until nine o'clock. Yeah. So really, we did get up five hours before we need to be in the office. It's just quite early. That is quite early, yes. If I was to ask you now whether you thought this was a good idea, what would you say? No. That's our plane. 
don't know about you, Jack, but that doesn't scream business to me. <laughs> when we get on the plane, mm. I'll say something very business-like to you. Yeah. And then maybe you'll get a free upgrade. Yeah, that makes sense. Worry. There are some business people. They are of a business class. Yeah, exactly. When we get into the office, you must remind Sue to give me an update morning. Give me an update on the EBITDA figures. Yeah. Well, obviously, our very businessy conversation didn't work. No. Um, I also don't feel like we've missed out. Whatever that is, that seems to be the difference between business and standards. It wouldn't have made the trip any more exciting, no. which is what we're here to do. minutes to get to the office and in ordinary circumstances you'd think okay that's fine yeah London City Airport DLR to bank yeah and then just walk from there but that will be on a normal commute and this is not a normal commute so we're here to make things more exciting I had a really nice shot lined up there yeah. where I got a little shot of you walking across the road yeah. and then I sort of pulled the camera up yeah. and zoomed in on the Royal Dock sign. Oh, very nice. But I pressed the wrong button and zoomed out by mistake. <laughs> but anyway, that's where we're going. Okay, Jack. Yeah. Proceed. And zoom. There we go. Job done. Good morning. We're just commuting to work. We're just business people on a commute. I suppose it's quite an unusual way of getting to work, isn't it, really? Thank you. Thank you very much, thank you. We're get, yeah, we're, we've got the nod, on we go. Oh God, look, you can buy a key ring. Should we do it? <laughs> um. Right, scan the QR codes, go on. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that says business to me. Can you write in? Be the solution. Because that's what we're doing, isn't it? That's true. Problem. Commutes are boring. Solution. Fly in from Luxembourg and get the Emirates airline. It makes perfect <laughs> sense. Right, we've got an hour. One thing we mustn't do, Jack, is let the memory slip away. <laughs> oh, well, there it is, being uh, minted. <laughs> That's okay, don't worry. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. fine, yeah. yeah. Absolutely fine. Here we are. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Oh, thank you. Great, we can keep them in our wallets. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. What started out as a completely terrible morning has improved quite dramatically. What the f is that? <laughs> That's awful. If you work for the council and you commission someone to do a, an objet d'art to liven up the local area and they came back with that, you would be raging. Is that true? Hang on. Yeah? Are you commuting as well? Yeah? It's a very unusual way of commuting, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Hi, mate. Oh, he's missed the boat, literally. <laughs> you should have shoved that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not way. Going on is surely he's not going, he's on, going on his own. No, though. not on that. Get out of it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> We're 
we're off. <laughs> Obviously, in our situation, being businessmen, we ought really be in the business class lounge. But as men of the people, we've eschewed that to come out here into the rough and ready open environment of the back bit of the ship. Last time I was making one of these videos, I was in Madrid, where they have fountains galore. And what do we have? That. I would actually say I've enjoyed most, most of what we did today. The only part that I didn't enjoy was the early wave part. The rest, yeah. I, the rest, the, the plane was horrible. Yeah. The uh, Emirates. Line, skyline. Yeah. Yeah. But the best. Yes, I agree. But also, of those three modes of transport, if we ignore walking, which is obviously yeah. a very normal way of getting to work, I have to say the clipper did not feel unusual. It wasn't unusual. Yeah, I think we were doing very well up until we got on the boat. And then... What's unusual though is that was the part that we enjoyed the most. It was the most usual part of the commute. Yeah, you're right, that is weird. So what time is it now? It's 8.46. A mere four hour commute, and here we are. But one thing I will say is that I think in doing this not unusual, unusual commute, I have rediscovered the joy of coming into work. Yeah, have you? I really have. I think there's something to be said for that, isn't there? Hi, three things. First of all, I hope you enjoyed the video. Secondly, if you did enjoy the video, it would be really cool if you could consider subscribing. Because then when the next video comes out, you can watch that as well. And thirdly, here's a sculpture of an owl. Bye.